So in phase two, I introduce, I, I give a little, a little overview of how Nomad works in terms of the, in terms of the servers and the client. So Nomad, they have uh, the servers, which is kind of like the brain of the cluster. So the servers decide where to place the applications in, within the cluster, and the client is where your application is gonna is gonna be running. And this is not just Nomad; it's also valid for for Kubernetes. You usually don't run applications in the in the servers or in the master node. In Kubernetes they call master node. You're always gonna run in a client or in Kubernetes they call worker nodes. But before we get into creating a cluster, what I'm gonna be doing here is to run Nomad the first time in development mode. So development mode is a great way if you're if you're starting with Nomad and you wanna just test you know in your local machine, um, even even during development phase, right? And so to do that, it's very simple. I just need to run this command. So sudo nomad agent dash dev. And some I remember during the event someone asked me why we need to run with sudo. So let me run without sudo and you see what's gonna happen. So if I do nomad agent dash dev, I just need to find the correct line here. So basically for nomad, you have drivers. Yeah, so you have the, the Docker driver, you have Java, you have the exec driver, raw exec, etc. And let me see if I find, but basically if you don't run with sudo, one, yeah, right here. So you see, if, so initial driver fingerprint, Java, driver must be run as root. And that's the same thing for exec, driver must be run as root. So if, if you're running locally, uh, Nomad, and you want to be able to use this driver, so in this case, run a Java application or run a binary using the exact driver, you would have to run uh, with sudo. So that was the, that was one of the reasons why we'd run with sudo. So let me just kill this process. And I'm going to do what what the um, what the challenge is asking. So sudo domed agent dash dev. Okay, so that's starting. That's starting the cluster again. All right, perfect. So let me go back. And so definition of done, we basically need to run nomad node status and make sure that we, we see only one node and the status is ready. So let's try to run that. And here you notice that everything's running on foreground, so I, I can't really run any commands. You, you would have the option to run this in the background, but because I want to see the logs of the cluster, I'm going to be, I'm going to leave running like that. And I'm just going to open a new terminal window. So I'm just going to click here, new terminal. Yep. And then I can do, so let's go back here. The command is nomad node status. So nomad node status. And there we go. So we see only one node, which is my cloud node environment, and the status is ready, which means that I can start deploying applications to, to Nomad.